So I'm back. I know I disappeared for an entire month. I know you guys are mad at me. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you don't care. It's all right. It's all right. So basically, we have this virus, right? Uh, we obviously know what I'm talking about. COVID-19, or simply known as the coronavirus. So, uh, well, corona. Well, basically, the coronavirus has taken over the world, and it and basically, I'm going to be explaining my thoughts and basically how this virus all started. And, you know, this might be different from my videos that I usually do from talking about political stuff or history. I'm going to be talking about a virus. So basically, the coronavirus started in China. But then, you know, it turns out that this virus is obviously a pandemic. So basically... uh it spreads basically like the flu or any disease like it could basically like uh you know like it could like if you cough or sneeze on, into someone they get the virus but then if they start feeling sick and then they cough or sneeze on someone else like this virus is just it's it's too dangerous like nobody's safe and like it's crazy now because it feels like it literally feels like in a, an, an apocalypse because if you go to any other stores like Walmart, Target or any stores in, in general. Like, it's just, there's nothing. For example, <laughs> there's been so many jokes and, like, it's not even jokes anymore about, like, how toilet paper is literally disappearing. Like, there's no more toilet paper in stores anymore. Like, it's hard to find toilet paper or it's, like, it's hard. It's, like, hard to find uh, stuff that you use every day now. Apparently, Miami, you know, they don't have eggs anymore. Like, um... I don't know, man. It, it it's crazy, but you know, basically, the only thing that we can do to stop this virus is to like you know wash our hands, not touch your face, not touch our nose, uh, you know, and yeah, that's basically all we have to do, man. People, um, scientists, and doctors are trying as much as possible to like create something to to uh, like something to cure people from the virus but it's been hard right now and also basically this virus has killed many elderly and it's pretty much gone to the point that pretty much it's just the elderly who die because basically this virus isn't really that fatal but like it it, it pretty much targets the, the elderly because you know they're old and most of them who have the coronavirus have some other severe problems then which makes it worse for their health and the ones who have asthma or or have respiratory problems you know that affects them more and you know they, they die because basically they can't breathe anymore or stuff like that so you know it's it's been crazy it's been crazy so uh you know schools have closed now and basically i, I i'm in uh spring break right now and now I'm going to have an extra week week because basically the coronavirus has reached my city and pretty much everybody else has to, uh, their own cities have the coronavirus and pretty much the entire world has the coronavirus. So I, I don't know. I honestly don't understand why the media is going absolutely crazy about this virus because people are going crazy now. They're wearing masks, even though mask doesn't do anything to stop the virus. Uh, I mean, people are doing really stupid stuff about this virus, I understand that they're scared, but, like, you know, you can't really die because of this virus, because I, I realize this, but people go crazy when people, like, people die of some disease, like, they think that if you automatically get the disease, that you're gonna die, I mean, it's not necessarily, like, us kids, uh, we, we can't get sick, I mean, we will, if we do, the get, if we get the coronavirus, but what I mean is that we won't die, Unless we have some really severe problems, which that's a, that's some really sad stuff, but most of the time we won't. And people people they go crazy about this virus thing because if you just cough or sneeze just because you have to, it's not even about the virus anymore, right? You just cough or sneeze, and pe- people just look at you like they automatically think that you have the virus, or they're just really cautious about you, but. Man, that's just how it is, I guess. 
And I just wonder when this virus is going to end because this feels like an eternity. Because if this virus doesn't stop in a year or something, like, this is going to be the end. Schools are going to be closed forever. And I guess all, all the kids and college students and kids in high school, they're going to miss their graduations. And we're all going to have to use the internet to, uh, to study and do our tests and get our grades, I guess. So that's going to suck. And basically, we're all, we're all in quarantine right now. So basically, if if you're in your house right now, like I am, basically we're all in quarantine. I mean, you can go outside, right? But people, most people don't. Most people, or especially the government, don't suggest you to go outside, unless you want to. Then then go ahead. But you know, that's just how it is, I guess. So stay safe, guys, and be strong. I hope. This thing will end soon, and they probably will. We just gotta, you know, we all gotta work together to stop this virus. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I probably, in a, uh, I promise you guys, in a few days, I'll think of something and a, and a good video idea to make. So, that's a promise, all right? So, thank you guys for watching this video, and remember, kids, eat your vegetables, cause you know, you know. Scientists have been saying that if you eat your vegetables, you know, that could really stop the virus, you know? Yeah, so think about that for a second.